<laughs> What's good, YouTube? It's Rage Rail. So, today's video, I want to bring you guys this gun tight slots mini scheme in Madden 23. So, if you enjoy this video, go and drop a like on the video right now. Go ahead and sub and turn on post notifications on. So, the offensive playbook I'm in is the Chiefs offensive playbook. Again, I'm in the Chiefs offensive playbook. Now, a couple things. Uh, CFL, I've been talking about it every video for about a month now. If you want to join the CFL, please make sure you hit me up. Um, well, not hit me up, excuse me. Make sure you go to the website, allthingsmadden.com. The link to that is in the description. You want to go to the All Things Madden tab, and you want to go to the CFL, the free one, okay? Not the paid. Go to the free one, and then you want to sign up. You'll get a Discord link in your account. Click the Discord link, and you'll be in the group chat. So if you're serious, please join, because the reason I keep promoting this for so long is because I have a lot of you guys join in. And then you just leave because I guess you're tired of waiting. But, you know, it takes time to get a good CFL group together. So that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to dedicate the time for that. So if you're serious about joining, please join and stay. Um, if you're not serious, don't join because you will be waiting until everybody joins for us to get started. OK, so just make sure you know that. But uh, also, I have ebooks on my website as well. So if you're interested in any ebooks like this formation or another formation, make sure you go check it out. Um, got tons, tons of different formations on there. So again, link is in the description. But without further ado, let's go and get started. So I really like this gun tight slots formation, and I'll kind of explain to you why. Um, at least when we get into um, the formation and um, things of that nature, whenever we get outside the huddle. But First and foremost, personnel doesn't matter on this at all. Now, a couple things to note. Um, if you have a good running back, then you actually can go to have back slot uh, and put two running backs. You can have two running backs in if you'd like, or you can have dual tight ends. So if you want to audible down to different run formations, you can do it out of that just using um, the two tight end slot little package. But also keep in mind, you can manually sub in a tight end too. Like they give you the option to put a tight end in here and a running back. So you don't never definitely have to go to the package. It just it makes it easier if that's what you want to do. But I normally don't like it. I like it just a three receiver with one tight end. That's how I like it. But um, there is kind of a preference. You want to put one of your fastest receivers right here in this position. And that's only for when we talk about man coverage in this particular spot. Um, and if you have a fast tight end, it helps. Uh, that's why I did kind of choose the Chiefs as well. But uh, kind of looking at this playbook, um, I really like this formation. I would actually run the. I would actually consider running this playbook in game, just because there's a lot of great things you can do out of this. So they got the jet halfback zone, uh, jet pass, of course. You guys know that. So you got a halfback base in here as well, and they also have the. Um, I don't know why I was thinking read option, but they also have this halfback draw, which is a pretty okay run. But as far as pass plays, what I'm gonna talk about in today's video is four verticals. But uh, other pass and plays I love that I would do if you wanted an ebook, I would do wheel switch, I would do drive trail, and uh, of course we're going over four verticals now, and then also I would do wheels poco because that poco route you can create a not, lot of nice stuff with that, and also PA uh, seam because that seam little route is actually really good, and you can also use that little uh, crosser route, you can kind of scheme that up to create a really nice mini scheme if that makes sense. So. Anyways, a lot of good, a lot of good plays in here. But what I want to talk about first, and also PA zone uh, fake jet is a pretty good uh, bomb play as well. But there's better plays to bombing in this playbook. But what I want to do is come out in four verticals, okay? So I just wanted to talk to you why, why I like this offense. Now, most of the time when you come out in any gun formation, you're gonna get either dollar, you're gonna get nickel over, you're gonna get three three five normal, or you're gonna get three three five cub most of the time. So what I'm gonna do is just come out in a dollar set, and what we're gonna do here is just come out and cover three. Now, why do I like this formation? So there's a couple reasons why I like this formation. So first and foremost, uh, let's take a look at when we flip it. Notice how nobody moves, right? So that's another, that's a positive to me. So I'm gonna flip the play back and your opponent has no idea. Now, other reasons I like this, look at who we can motion. So we can motion a tight end over. Well, we can motion a receiver over, you know, and uh, cause there's some tight formations that don't let you motion this guy over. So that's why I'm just calling you this. We can motion any receiver that we want in any side of the field that we want him at. So I think that's really, really key to making this offense even better. And again, we can motion this guy over here. And lastly, I'll show you uh, that we can motion over that far left receiver. Now, the reason I took my time to show you this before I got into the setups and stuff, because I need you to understand that you can run this offense however you want to, and you can flip the play at will, okay? So don't think that, oh, I have to run it to this left side because that's where Rail's running it to. No, don't, don't do that. Um, now, when you run this play in particular, uh, you'd want your receiver that's on the wheel route to be on the wide side of the field. So what I would do 
is take the ball and I would put it on this right hash, but you can still use it in the middle, okay? Like if you want to, you can still run the same concepts I'm about to show you in the middle. It's just for preference sake, you don't want to run it to where your uh this guy on the wheel route is to the wide side, but it's, it's not mandatory. You just don't want them on the short side of the field. All right, got all that out the way to talk about the setup. So for the setup, there's a couple things, a couple different setups I like, but I want to keep it as simple as possible. So I want to give you a zone cover setup and I want to give you a man cover setup. So for any style of zone coverage, um, you want to take X right here. You want to put them on a hitch. You want to take circle, put them on an out route and you want to smart route his out route. And lastly, you want to take this hitch and you can want to motion them across. Now, also what I need you to understand too, let me uh, base a line to bring that purple back over there. What I need you to understand is that this setup is interchangeable. Okay, real. what do you mean by interchangeable? What I mean is that if you want to, you can do the same exact setup. So you can, you know, you can set him up on the out route, smart route. You can take circle, put him on a hitch, and you can motion circle over across now. And it's going to work the same exact way. And this is good because it's going to cause confusion with your opponent, you know. So why I like this setup. So look at circle and then look at R1. So those are going to be your two main reads in zone. Now, if they zone drops, you actually can have triangle in any style of cover three. So I'll kind of show you uh, in a little replay. So first and foremost, read progressions. Your reads is always going to be between these two right here. All you're looking for is the user. Where's the user? Now, this is a quarterback spy, okay? So that's not a zone. That's a quarterback spy. If somebody happens to have a spy, all you need to do is just move whichever way you want to throw the ball. So for example, if I wanted to throw this guy right here, I would just take myself in a pocket and I would move you know this way like I did and I would just deliver that dot right here okay so don't worry about that what's most important here is these hook zones because that's what your user is going to be on so user is going to have to, if he's on this person right here he's going to have to fly down and guard this if he does not you'll give that up and if he doesn't then we'll take that every single time now it's most of, the reason this play works too as well is because it is vertical route right here so this vertical route um, is going to force this hook zone to back up and this wheel route is going to auto man lock on it if they're not zone drop so that means that there's nobody accounting for him nobody account for him and this out route is going to push back any outside zones and that's going to you know that's why we have that open now uh one thing i did forget to mention in the setup is you want to take square you want to put him on a streak i did forget to mention that but um we're going to talk about it right now circle on our route smart route it x on a uh, hitch now this streak by square is only important when it comes to cover two all right so it doesn't really matter versus the other coverages but cover two it definitely does matter so real quick i just want to show you uh like i said x you see r1 and um honestly you can have triangle if you have a good matchup you could throw that now be careful because if if they're good they'll sometimes they'll get a click on and get a swat or a pick depending on who you have but uh, understand I have Patrick Mahomes in this example, so your quarterback may not be able to sling it as fast. But um, what does happen is when you have your fastest player here, if they man match, notice what happens that is they're going to put him in front of him and you get this natural lane that's created right here. Now, I'm not telling you to hit that every single time or to make a read, but it, it can be open if you want it, you know. So if for some reason they have both of these covered and you have a scenario like this, which definitely can happen in game where they have a mismatch, then you can actually exploit it. You know by getting a nice little pass lead and as long as you time it up well and you have a good quarterback you'll be able to click on and catch it before they're able to get a pass break up by this guy if that makes sense so uh definitely definitely a, a easy option right there to hit now moving forward i want to talk about um let's go cover four drop all right let's go cover four drop because this is covering all the hook zones all right so again x on the uh hitch <laughs> i lost my train of thought circle on out route smart route is out route and then we're going to take x right here motion them across square on the streak and again i'm gonna i'm gonna rebase the line to bring that purple back over there so you guys don't think you know anything of it so right here x r1 you can tell now triangle is the only thing that does not get open so if your opponent plays a cover four quarter style not quarter but if they play cover four drop and um you're not going to be able to throw that little triangle route they all that's only open versus cover three or a deep half that's the only way that i can throw it but if they play a, a quarter right here which is cover four quarters will drop essentially notice how they just do a great job of bracketing that off so you know we only have two true reads right here you know you have to throw them quick though okay that's one thing you have to make sure you have to throw them quick because if you don't you know the cpu is going to come back and play both of those that's just how it works that's how they're programmed to play it so we're going to use that to our advantage so next thing i want to talk about is cover two so with cover two um I want to show you why first I like putting X on the streak. So I, I mean, um, square on the streak. I'll show you why first. So if we don't put him on the streak, notice how he's not on the streak, right? 
notice how he's kind of on an option route with cover two. So the reason I don't like this is because sometimes he just runs different things depending on what the defense does. Now, uh, of course, you've seen um, X and you've seen triangle open. But the bad thing about that is that the reason I like this versus cover two is because if we put him on a streak, we have a natural cover two beater. But if we don't put him on a streak and they run cover two, look what happens right here. So in theory, you want to throw this wheel route, but notice how the streak disappears into a post. So this safety right here is going to be able to play this and you'll throw a pick 10 out of 10 times trying to throw that. But if we put this guy on a streak, it's going to he's going to hold him on this hash mark. And that's going to allow us to outside pass lead this ball, if that makes sense. So, And also, right here, I love this too. Because under normal circumstances, when they don't kind of do this little, you know, practice mode BS is what I call it. This vertical hook will keep backing up with uh, number 19, Kadarius Tony. He's going to keep backing up with him and you'll have this hitch open. And you'll also have this route open as well. Um, <clears throat> they just kind of played it a little funny. But you'll have this route and you'll have this route. So I'll show you that again. Um, and like I said, you'll notice a difference in practice mode and game. I'm a spot that guy just because, but you'll notice a difference between practice mode and game because practice mode, they just it, it's just a lot of weird stuff that happens that just don't happen at all versus in the game. But what we're gonna do is take square, put them on a streak now. I just need you to see what happens if you, you know, if they play cover two like that. So, anyways, what you can do is actually have triangle on an outside pass lead, and you have an easy, easy dot right there. Now, normally the vertical hook does back up, but if, it, the, if the vertical hook happens to sit, that's completely fine because what's going to happen is that if the user is right here on this vertical hook, he's going to cover this, right? So what you can do is essentially just grab this guy and playmaker him to the sideline, if that makes sense, and you'll get a nice, nice dot, especially when they start trying to zone drop to guard this route because they're going to have to zone drop. If they don't zone drop, they're going to give up this dot right here all night long. And when they zone drop, what we're going to do is capitalize on that. So here, I, I just want to show you real quick, and I'll talk about a man cover setup. And lastly, I want to show you versus zone drop, and that's going to be the video. So if you guys appreciate these longer style videos, just let me know. And also, if you guys are curious about ebooks, it's nothing like how I'm doing it now. It is similar, but I go a lot faster and it's written setups as well. So, you know, that's the bonus to, you know, getting the ebook. But anyways, I just kind of want to show you what I'm talking about. So let's say, you know, he's not open. So what you can do is actually playmaker him to the sideline and you can pick up about five, six yards. That's if you see something you don't like, you know, any reason whatsoever. So always have that at your disposal. Now, last coverage I want to talk about is man coverage. So with man coverage, what this, this setup is going to look a little weird, I know, but you got to trust it, okay? So what we're going to do is whatever side doesn't have the receiver running the um, running the wheel route, we're going to take X, put him on a slant, and we're going to take circle, put him on a slant. So we're going to put the two back sides on a slant. Now, whoever you want to motion across, that's fine. Now, me personally, I like having my receivers be in motion across, but uh, it's completely up to you. But we're going to run it just like this. Now, you want to look between slant, slant, and then also... Um, Square can get open, and depending on what they're doing on the back end, you also can have that wheel route because actually, wheel routes can be good versus man if you have a good matchup. But ideally, this is how you want to do it. So you want to read slant to slant, depending on where the user goes. Okay, so we're reading the user right here in the middle. If the user does not take the slant, then a lot of times you can actually throw this route right here on the sideline. You can get a nice little pass lead. And if they don't have a deep half, you have a chance at, um, you know, throwing this guy for a one play touchdown if you have a good matchup. So I'll show you that real quick. Uh, so let's go back to man coverage. Here we go. Now, this is popular cover shields. You'll see you'll see something like this where they're going to press and then shade inside or they may call over the top. You'll see something like, you know, something like this. You'll see. Um, you know, just, just you know, they'll, they'll invert it. You'll see stuff that looks like this. So it's kind of hard to say what they'll do. But for most opponents that you're going to play, they're going to do something like this. This is going to be their user. They're going to use it for safety. And they're going to just say, hey, I'm going to take away everything in the middle. And I'm going to play deep if I need to. That's normally what you'll see. So this play is perfect for that. They'll call Most of the people will call over the top when they play this aggressive style man. But this is perfect because um, if this guy is better than that person, then you're good. Now, when they shade over the top, the wheel routes aren't as good. So that's just something to keep note of. But anyways, uh, I want to show you this real quick. So this time, let's just send a tight end over just because. And again, it all just depends on personnel and who you have, depending on. So kind of watch triangle. So sometimes, you know, um, they didn't even give me enough time to throw it. But... If they shade over the top, they're going to play it really well for the, uh, at least for current gen. They're going to play the wheel routes really well. But if they shade over the top, also, they're giving up these slants all day and night. And also, look at this route right here. This is why this route's really good. 
Uh, if they play any style of man, don't put them on a streak. Let him run a post because when it's man coverage, they're auto going to go to the post. And just look at this. So this time he did run a streak. But uh, because there was so much congestion and everything, um, that's why you kind of get one. You can get a one play touchdown. You can get away with it. And also, uh, this route also can turn into an in route or out route. Uh, it all depends on what the opponent runs a lot of times. But you get the idea. You know, you, you, you get what you get. What I'm trying to tell you. Okay. Last thing. Last thing. Last thing. Last thing. Before I show you zone drop. So if you get this cover show, which you'll see now, it's the same thing. Uh, let's. Uh, Let's go back to man coverage. Let's call inside underneath and put purples because this is still a really popular man coverage show where they call inside underneath, underneath with purples. Or, you know, they may even do something that looks like um, they don't give you the hard flat option, but when they put different zone drops. But anyways, let me show you this real quick. So reason I wanted to show you all this is talk about triangle because that route can get open. It all depends on who you have running that route. Um, notice how Miko can get a step and that's simply just because they didn't shade over the top so you have those options okay just need you to make sure you understand that that's why you want your fastest player right there so last thing I want to show you before the video is over and this is just for you guys that are still here because I figure if you're still here you're pretty interested in this formation that you're willing to try it so I just want to show you real quick uh, what happens if they turn zone drops on because to defend this they're most likely gonna have to have zone drops so they'll probably put about a 20 or they'll probably put like a 20 or 25 and they'll probably put that curl flat to about five right so what i'm gonna do here is go to cover three so i'm gonna shade down just to show you worst case scenario that they have their flats at 25 and i'm gonna spy that guy and i just want to only want to show you this versus cover three because i know i was talking to you about it remember don't forget to put square on a streak if it's zone coverage if it's man just leave it alone you know the man coverage set up but i just wanted to show you triangle right here so kind of notice what happens here uh, if you wait, 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 and depending on who you have at quarterback, um, you'll be able to throw that. It all depends on who you have at quarterback and also what depth they're dropping their zone drops at. So we'll, we'll take a look at it on a replay. Also, like I said, keep in mind, you're going to have these two reads open as well if you want them. Now, I shaded down. That's why they came so aggressively. That's, you know, I shaded down. That's why they came so aggressively. And also, if you notice something, um, the reason I like this out route, too, is because if they start zone dropping, you can actually just run the same play and just hit this zone, hit this out route until they actually zone drop the guard, if that makes sense. So that's why I like to have the smart route and out route for those of you guys that were curious. But uh, if you're feeling risky, then what I was trying to explain to you is that 25, they actually do a pretty good job. But at 20, this guy will be about right here. And that gap at that point is too big to where you can actually fit this ball right here. So, again, I probably could have threw it a tad bit earlier. Uh, so if I wanted to throw this ball, I probably should throw it right now. Like, I should throw it right now. So I waited about half a second too late. And I'll run it one more time for you uh, just to show you. But then that's going to wrap it up for this video. And if they're playing Shaded Down and Cover 3 also with this formation, they're going to give up a lot of dots just because of, you know, just because it's it's, it's not that great of a coverage. But um, with Shaded Down at least because they're being aggressive on all those curl routes. So if you notice that these, that R1, and X is not open, it's because they're shading down with their coverage, and they're gonna, and you can make them pay for it if you understand that. But it's really a timing based throw. Uh, notice how right there, like I said, that probably would be picked, but it's a timing based throw, and that's only if you want to look there. But my suggestion, before I let you go, my suggestion, if you want to run this and you notice for some reason that this guy right here is not backing off, like not dropping down, that means he's zone dropped. So, what you can do is turn around and hit this out route every single time okay don't forget about that out route it's really great but anyways that's gonna wrap it up for this video i do hope you have a blessed day i'm raised real and i'm